Hi my friends and welcome back to the channel. I'm Legacy Stacker and today we're going to talk about my three reasons why I store my precious metals at a depository or a professionally managed storage vault. At the same time we'll be reviewing the 1884 Morgan Silver Dollar series. But first, to the computer. Now here we are at the ST Bullion website. Today is Monday, May 23rd, 2022. The silver spot price is $21.96. The gold spot price is $1,854, which leaves us with a gold to silver ratio of 84 to one. Hi, my precious metals fans. I am very excited to announce that ST Bullion has approved my channel into its Bullion Affiliate Program. So if you would like to purchase your precious metals from ST Bullion, please use my affiliate links below in the description. It won't cost you any more and it will really help my channel out. ST Bullion is not sponsoring this video, but they are one of the most trusted bullion sites when purchasing precious metals. Here's the disclaimer. The coins we'll be reviewing today are the 1884 Morgan Silver Dollar series you see here. There are four coins in this series. The first coin is the 1884 Philadelphia Mint Morgan Silver Dollar. And if we look at the reverse, we can see that the coin has no mint mark signifying the Philadelphia Mint. This coin is graded Mint State 65 by the PCGS Grading Company, has a mintage of 14,070,000 coins, and based on that mintage and grade, is worth approximately $365. I purchased this coin at my local coin shop as a graded coin, and it's one of my highest graded coins at MS65, or Mint State 65. So what was happening in 1884? Chester Allen Arthur, who was the President of the United States at that time, said, Well, we got a mess of these things right now. Referring to the Morgan Silver Dollars, we made 185 million and only 40 million are out in circulation. Vaults and other storage spaces were stuffed with the unwanted coins at the time by 1884. After only minting the Morgan Silver Dollars since 1878, that's just seven years into the minting of the Morgan Silver Dollar series. Also in 1884 at Coney Island, New York, the first roller coaster opened. In Davenport, New Hampshire, the first national bank opened in 1884. In Dayton, Ohio, John Henry Patterson formed the National Cash Register Company, which was the only major cash register company at that time. Thomas Watson, who worked with Patterson, later formed International Business Machines, or IBM, in 1884. In Kentucky, the Louisville Slugger baseball bat was introduced, which provided to be more effective and longer lasting than the baseball bats previously used. Mark Twain's Adventures of Huckleberry Finn was popular, solidifying Mark Twain's fame as one of the most widely read authors in America at that time. The Washington Monument was also completed in Washington, D.C. in 1884. The second Morgan Silver Dollar in this series is the 1884 Carson City Mint Morgan Silver Dollar. And if we look at the reverse, we can see the CC mint mark there, just above the D and the O at the bottom of the reverse. I purchased this coin as a graded coin on the Portsmouth Coin Shop website. The Portsmouth Coin Shop website is owned by Daniel, who also appears on the Coin Help You YouTube channel. This coin is graded Mid-State 63 by the PCGS Coin Grading Company, has a mintage of 1,136,000 coins, and based on that mintage and grade is worth approximately $460. The first reason I store my precious metals at a depository is for my family's safety. 
I'll put a link right up here to my YouTube video on the one person rule, which basically states that for security reason, you should tell one and only one person that you stack precious metals. However, if some unscrupulous person finds out that you are storing precious metals at home, you run the risk of having them stolen, which could put you and your family in a dangerous situation if you happen to be home at the time. This is why if you watch my channel, you know I store my precious metals at a depository or storage vault. When it comes to selecting a professional storage vault to store your precious metals in, you should do your due diligence and personal research in order to choose the best storage vault for you. I'll also put a link to my five questions to ask your vault storage or de depository provider up here so you can check it out. Hi, my friends. As you can tell, I've made a decision to keep my identity anonymous on this channel for security reasons. Please feel free to participate in my million subscriber challenge by clicking on the subscribe button below. Do you really want to know who I am? If so, please click on the subscribe button and when I reach 1 million subscribers, I will move from behind the camera to in front of the camera. That's my challenge to you. It won't cost you anything and most of all, thank you. The third Morgan Silver Dollar in this series is the 1884-0 Mint Morgan Silver Dollar from the New Orleans Mint. I purchased this coin from my local coin shop and sent it in for grading by NGC. And if we look at the reverse, we can see the O mint mark there at the bottom above the D and the O, indicating the New Orleans Mint, which of course is no longer a functioning mint, although I believe it still operates as a museum. This coin is graded MS63 or Mint State 63 by the NGC Grading Company, has a mintage of 9,730 coins, and based on that mintage and grade is worth approximately $95. I'll do a coin grading submission video in the future to show you what the process of grading a coin is like. The second reason I store my precious metals at a depository is for insurance reasons. Your storage vault or depository will carry the appropriate amount of insurance for your precious metals in the event of a theft or a natural disaster such as a flood or a fire. In contrast, if you tried to get insurance for your precious metals from your local property insurance or automobile insurance company, first, you'd be breaking the one person rule. By put, but putting that aside, you probably wouldn't get an insurance company to insure more than a very small amount. So to all of you silver and gold stackers out there, let me know down in the comments. Do you have insurance on the precious metals you store at home? Hi, Legacy Stacker here. You may have noticed that I set up a Patreon account to help support this channel. As always, one thing I can promise you is that every dollar I receive from the channel, I will reinvest back into the channel. If you would like to help me support this channel, please become a bronze stacker, silver stacker, or gold stacker today. As a bronze stacker, we'll focus on health and fitness, beginning with my favorite healthy chocolate chip cookie recipe. They're made with almond flour, so they're gluten-free. As a silver stacker, we will focus on coin stacking and collecting, beginning with my 90% constitutional coin guide. And you'll also have access to everything in the bronze stacker tier. As a gold stacker, we're focused on building an overall portfolio, as I will give you access to my portfolio of investments updated monthly. My portfolio contains paper assets like retirement and universal insurance investments, as well as physical assets like real estate and of course, precious metals. In addition, you'll also have access to everything in the bronze and silver stacker tiers. I would really appreciate you becoming a bronze stacker, silver stacker, or gold stacker member of the channel today. And thank you for your continued support. The fourth and final Morgan Silver Dollar in this series is the 1884S Mint Morgan Silver Dollar from the San Francisco Mint. I purchased this coin on eBay as a graded coin. Please note, if you plan to purchase coins on eBay, 
I would suggest you purchase a Sigma Analytics Precious Metals Verifier to ensure the coins that you are buying are genuine. I'll leave a link to my video on the Sigma Analytics Verifier right up here so you can check it out. This coin is graded almost uncirculated or AU58 by the PCGS grading company, has a mintage of 3,200,000 coins. Based on that mintage and grade, this is one of my more expensive coins in my collection worth approximately $3,300. The third reason I store my precious metals in a depository is because their vault is stronger than any storage vault you could ever buy. The depository or storage vault you choose will be built to a higher standard than any storage vault you could buy and place inside your home, which by the way, can weigh many hundreds of pounds so you won't be able to install a heavy duty storage vault yourself in your home. So once again, you'd be breaking the one person rule and having something like that installed in your home could bring attention to what you're storing in it. This week's YouTube channel shout out of the week goes to, you guessed it, the Coin Help You channel. I'll leave a link to this channel down in the description. The Coin Help You YouTube channel covers all aspects of coin collecting topics and is run by Daniel, the Portsmouth coin shop owner. Daniel is a wealth of information and has a ton of experience with coins. Again, I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description. A special thank you to my loyal patrons, without whom this channel would not be possible. Thank you, my friends. I truly appreciate your support. And always remember, my friends, silver and gold, it's wealth you can hold in your hands.